can save the world. He has the Agni. I think you guys should light up your lamps. Sure. Sure. IPI is still on Supreme Court and I go. <laughs> but one thing I would say, I am quite proud of it, that today a 600 ton waste energy plant is being set up in Shibu. Okay, we will clap to that. So as I think Kedar sir also mentioned and uh, Rajkumar sir also mentioned, uh, the uh, city is definitely you know having a lot of problems. So that actually ultimately percolates to us in the indoor environment because a lot of us spend 16 to 20 hours inside our homes and offices. So Pia Prachi here who is an expert on uh, how you know to make the building environment friendly and your house environment friendly. So Prachi if you can just Thank you, Vivek. Firstly, I would thank Vivek Pai for taking the concern and complete active support and finding an organization like Perfect Women and thanking you both because in spite of all the hassles, you chose to focus on the topic, the environment and why it matters. So really thankful for that. And uh, what I would like to come here and say is that just what she said, that it's just a matter of joining hands, that's lots of work. And we are not uh, here to ask you to do something different, not ask you to go to the jungles or the forest or become close to nature, something which you are sitting right here and you can do. And like they say that the world's best things come free. Exactly that is what today's hashtag is by the United Nations. Hashtag only one earth. Why do I say that? The best and the most valuable things come free. That's sunlight. The sunlight, daylight, is it penetrating in your room right now? But it's free. It's not sending you an invoice right now. Secondly is the water, which all of us is available in plenty. And like Sir just had mentioned, the way we have used it. The sound, the fresh air, which we get is again completely free. But, and uh, again, we are trying to say here that right here, sitting in Andheri, Vasova, Chambur, everywhere, we have that completely freely available to us. So uh, when we are here, we are practicing in the scenarios how we can use it. We are trying to do these pro bono activities so that this knowledge or the information which we have been studying and practicing is shared. So for that, once again, I thank Perfect Women for taking up the concern on environment day. And I think in the process, uh, I'll get an opportunity to share about what we can do in staying in Mumbai. Nothing at an expense, but just knowing what to do. Okay, I think Vivek is telling how to elaborate on this. So today's hashtag is only one earth, reason being, we are focusing on the Mars, we are focusing on different different planets, but this is the only one where we can live. At the moment, we are not going to be able to live anywhere else. And if we go to see that we are not trying to save the environment, we are trying to save our own selves, not even the next generation. In, in uh, COVID, we have seen that we have to save our own generation. And as far as my expertise in the work, which I can say, for cities, since I think the major crowd is from this urban infrastructure, is wherever you are when you go back home today, uh, you must have spent for that particular space or that building or that house, your life savings, your life investments. Just check in your mind, are you getting the basics in your bedroom, in your living room? Say, are you getting light, which the sunlight is offering you for free? Are you getting fresh air? without opening the windows and secondly are you getting peace noise pollution so what is that you can do is something which uh, a lot of us who study environmental science and then say there's no scope in the field there's immense scope if people understand what they are paying for so uh, just to give you an example i'll not go much technical is that uh, outside there is 10000 lux levels of light available for free by building walls, by closing windows, by shutting down curtains, by orienting the buildings in the wrong direction, we are making it right up to 100, 110 lux. Lux means like kilograms, dozens is the unit of lux. Similarly, the fresh air, we put on perfumes, we put on different, different uh, 
like uh, you say, okay, perfumes, paints on the walls. What are we breathing? We are breathing particulate matter which is less than this uh, microns of this thin strand of air. So what can I do? My building is built, my house is built. I have to live a life. You will be able to live a life if you will be able to breathe. You can grow fresh air in the house. How can you? By knowing what kind of species you need to plant in your bedroom, in your living room. And very simple, these are not exotic plants. These are plants which are available in any normal nursery. And uh, all of us here, and especially uh, Kedarnath sir has been working as a chief planner to make this a better city. And all of us are trying to you know, imbibe this knowledge as far as possible, sharing it. So just to conclude, I will say two important species which you can go and buy today is a money plant, a sansevieria plant. On a lighter note, it's also known as mother-in-law's tongue because you, don't, you just don't need to focus on it. Even if you plant or neglect, uh, if you don't water it daily or neglect it, it still grows, it, it stays and it, it is a plant which you can plant in your house. Money plants are very easily available, areca palm which will absorb the volatile organic compounds which you are spraying around in your house. So uh, that's just a small take home a tip I can give or share something which we have studied. I just want to share that these are the corrective actions. I always say that we really want to get into corrective actions which yes that is one of the major requirements nowadays because traffic water, solid waste, anything you say, there is a need for a corrective including ourselves. We do all kinds of uh, inner engineering for ourselves to ensure that we are better. So that's one part of the story. The other is just to say, do you really need talcum powder? Do you really need perfume? Do you really need a soap? I have been practicing last 45 years not using any one of them except kachigandhi ka te that is the oil extracted from the wooden mills it doesn't harm i don't stink my wife says so and and i take it and uh, <clears throat> the point which is coming in is since it's something to do with the fashion industry and I was just thinking that I need to share it here. 45 years of it up to Jandigi Charra here. Kuch kharab ni ho. Shave karne ke liye thoda wat ho jata hai. Once in a while soap because COVID ne to I had to use it because otherwise family would say nene you have not done it. So that's one part of the story. Try ensuring uh, this as one of the ways of life because I am part of the Southeast Asia Distract Committee of the Country where I am doing sustainable living and within sustainable living is all the waste which is generated from the bathrooms and the kitchens and the sink gets into the drain and into the sea. So better watch out. If you can avoid, all the better. Thank you very much. Just to add to what sir said, uh, yes, yesterday I was watching uh, Trevor Noah and he was talking about uh, how the fish is in Florida. The, the fishes that people are eating, they are already full of supplements. So antidepressants, so there are crossings, there are paracetamols, there are everything inside the fish. So it's just coming from the flushing that people are eating, it's going out and you know that's how you know our current scenario is. So talking about that and because that is diet and we have somebody who is a vegan and a activist, animal activist and a veganism activist. So Sentika, over to you, I think uh, you have a lot to contribute here. I guess um, uh, veganism is a trend, veganism is a trend, uh, like uh, I see so many beautiful people out there, so so what do you, I think you must be aware of what veganism is, but apart from that, today what I'm going to talk about is the activism part, why, why veganism, why it is so a deep topic wherein it leads to a thing, I'll just get back there, so animal cruelty is a thing, what we humans are going through with corona and so many other illnesses, mental health issues and so many other things we do try to find out that there are certain hidden traumas which in each of the diet which we have on our table is going through. 
Where does the all, all vibrations grow? Go to. We human beings are in the miserable state altogether, leading towards like, like if I can tell you the sentence, uh, if the slaughterhouses, the walls of the slaughterhouses, and you know the butcher shops were made of glass, I can bet that 90% of the people right here will go vegan. You can't imagine how these people, these animals are raised. I can just share one example, like a poultry, poultry industry. We all love butter chicken, don't you? So <laughs> let's get get about how how this is like. Okay, once we consider that rice is a fruit, what growth is that? You take one seed, you germinate it, you get the fruit, you eat it. It's a plant kingdom altogether. We are in kingdom animalia. Like we have certain nervous system which responds to certain stimulus and certain reactions. If you, if I tend to kill you, you will shout. I know that you want to go away from it, and so does 